Hey, this is DNL5649. I'm making a video comparing CFL light bulbs to incandescent. That's a 13 watt, a 15. It's an 18 watt, 75 equivalent. And this one's a 100 watt equivalent. This is a 40 watt light bulb. Both of these are 60. That's a 100. And then I've got a 150 and a 200. I'm going to screw in these different lights to show you the different light qualities and the light outputs. This particular CFL claims to put out 900 lumens, but yet I've got a 40 watt incandescent that seems to be a lot brighter than it. The first bulb I've got is already in the fixture. It's a 13 watt cool white. I can't get the tripod to move up enough. See the light's pretty harsh. I don't like the color of that light at all, and it's not very bright either. This is a 60 watt incandescent here, and it's much brighter than that. So I'm gonna take out that bulb and I'm gonna put in the next 13 watt. This is a soft white 13 watt. It's very dim. As you can see, it barely lights up the room at all. It's like a 25 watt. So much for a 900 lumens output. That's a lie. <clears throat> It was supposed to be an instant on, and I don't like that one. The next one is a EcoSmart 14 watt 2700K. I don't like these ones at all. They're very dim when you first turn them on. They get a lot brighter. Point the camera at the bulb so you can see this one as it comes on. It's got a purplish glow. That's because these ones have less mercury in them than regular CFL bulbs. Sorry about this, this tripod's not very good. It's not lighting up the room very much at all right now. Everybody wants people to use CFL bulbs. Why would I want to use them when the room is still dark? When I flip the light switch, I want light. I want light right away. I don't want to have to wait for it. And I don't want to have to worry about properly disposing of these things. They've got a bunch of mercury in them. I mean, it's not that much, but still. Think about if 10,000 people dispose of these things and they don't do it properly. Then think about 100,000 people. Then think about the whole world doing that. You'll destroy it pretty quick. The oceans will become poisoned. Fish will die. Drinking water will be unsafe. And it's all because people want to save a little bit of electricity with a light bulb. You're spending maybe four or five dollars on this thing. The incandescent costs like 25 cents. Sure, yeah, you're saving electricity with this. But in the long run, are you really saving money? You know, a kilowatt of electricity is what, 11, 12 cents? You know, do the math and figure it out. The amount of money we spend on electricity in an incandescent bulb life, bulb's life might be the same as what one of these cost. You get worse, you get bad quality light. You gotta wait for them to warm up. Then you got toxic materials in it. A regular light bulb, you can just toss it in the trash. This one's making a hum. This is the 75 equivalent. It's 
a little bit brighter. It gets a lot brighter in a few minutes time. But I still don't have time to wait around for that to get bright. I've still got a 60 watt incandescent that are much brighter. Made in China, just like every other one of these. Wow, we've really sold ourselves to China, haven't we? That's a fact that can't be denied. I've never seen a CFL bulb, not a single one that has been made anywhere else except China. That one's even dimmer than the 75 watt one. And it's humming too. Now it's starting to get brighter, finally. It's about time. Now I'm going to switch to the incandescent bulbs. This one is a everyday living 40 watt, 120 volt, 470 lumens. This one's made in Indonesia. You have to look out because these everyday living that you can get from Kro for from Kroger for a dollar or seven a pack. Um, some of them are made in Poland, but some of them are made in Indonesia. If you get those, make sure they're made in Poland. These ones are a lot cheaper looking. Look at the base, the solder's not even. Got a big old glob of solder poking out right there. The ones made in Poland are completely smooth around the base. And this part has a nice even bead of solder on them. You can see this cheap made in Indonesia bulb is not like that. That's about as bright as one of the 13 watt CFLs. It's meant for a lamp or something that's not intended as a ceiling light. Next one is a 60 watt Sylvania. Incandescents are certainly more easier to screw in than CFLs. Got a bulb to hold on to and not the stupid little curly fluorescent tube. It's a good amount of light. Makes the room have a comfortable atmosphere. It's a lot easier on my eyes too. Next one is a or fight or whatever you call it, electric, industrial quality, 60 watts, 130 volts, clear glass. So that light will be more yellow. It won't be quite as bright as this last one. It's a nice light, although I don't like clear glass bulbs because it makes these marks on the wall from the filament in them. If 
but still rather have one that was in the CFL. The next light is a sunlight 100 watt rough surface bulb that's meant for like drop lights and stuff like that. Made in China, they're 130 volts. They only put out 800 lumens, but they're a nice frosted bulb. Put out good light. The base is pretty good on these. They're made in China, but the solder is it's pretty good quality. These get hot really quick though. That's one thing I don't like about them. But they have nice light, so it's okay then. You can see that's a lot brighter. It says it's 800 lumens, but not really sure. Turn out this backlight so you can see. Now I'm going to show you all the bright lights. Both of these are General Electric Soft White. Got a 150 watt and a 200 watt. 150 watts, 2680 lumens. And the 200 watts, 3405 lumens. These ones are pretty cheap. Both of them are made in China. The 200 watt one's a lot better quality than the 150 watt. These bulbs do not have vertical filament support. So if they're on and you tap them real hard, they're going to burn out. Filament opens up pretty easily on them. I guess people use them in like barns and garages and stuff like that. They're pretty bright. And for a dollar fifty, I must say these are some good bulbs. This one's very bright. As you can see, it illuminates the whole room. It's really bright in here. You can see all the junk clearly. We're in the process of moving, that's why there's stuff all piled up. It's to be sorted. And the last bulb is a 200 watt. I've got other light bulbs, but I'm not going to be climbing up here screwing in light bulbs on one video. It's a 200 watt General Electric. <clears throat> you can see that's a very bright light. Makes a lot of heat. It lights up the room completely. Well, that's the end of my video. Just wanted to show you all some different kinds of light. Some of y'all probably think I'm crazy, but uh, I don't like CFLs at all. And uh, you know they're phasing out incandescents pretty soon here. 60 and 40 watts are gonna, you know, I'm not gonna make those anymore, or at least import them to the United States. So if you like using incandescent bulbs, I suggest you stock up on them before you have to buy a bunch of these weird-looking things. Eco-smart. <laughs> so eco-friendly they poison everything and kill it. It's not very eco-smart, is it? It's got mercury in it. It even tells you on it. Why would you want that? Sylvania. Sounds cheap, too. It's got stuff rattling around in it. I don't 
think this one even tells you where it's made. So you know it's made, yeah, there it is. Made in China. All of them are made in China. I don't like Chinese stuff. Some of it's good, but I don't like their CFLs. They're not so good. See you in my next video. Bye.